Speed UTV is one of the most reputed UTVs which is best suited for adventure as well as rough terrain. It is blessed with great features such as a powerful engine, robust body, excellent traction control as well as safety features. However, with wear and tear and inappropriate handling, there have been some complaints which have been registered in the case of Speed UTV. It is very important to understand these problems and take appropriate action as soon as possible as even minor problems can result in wide-scale damages. Speed UTV complaints should be taken care of. So what are the Speed UTV side-by-side -side complaints? There are various Speed UTV complaints including paint flaking, fading stickers, damaged bowls, leaks of water, inadequate illumination, etc. The Speed UTVs are non-refundable. Unfortunately, in spite of it being quite popular in the UTV segment, the Speed UTV is also known for some of its problems. These problems are not only related to external features but also some performance-related issues as well. Before getting into our video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. It means a lot to us. If you are interested in reading such insightful content about UTV, visit our website www.offroadingutv.com. Link is given in the description. Let's get back to the video. The latest Speed UTV lawsuit update is that Speed RMG Partners, a marketing, design and engineering firm based in North Carolina, won a $47 million verdict in its case against Arctic Cat following a relationship the two parties began in 2015. Speed RMG Partners is a collaborative effort between off-road racer Robbie Gordon and Todd Romano, the founder of UTV aftermarket company Dragonfire Racing. When forming this relationship in 2015, Arctic Cat said it reflected the company's commitment to the high-performance off-road vehicle market and its Wildcat side-by-sides and accessories. Gordon and Romano will provide research and development consulting on new technologies. According to Rutan Tucker LLP, attorneys for Speed RMG Partners, the trial team intends to pursue interest in the award, which it anticipates will reach eight figures. It is understood that with time, every vehicle can go through wear and tear and with proper servicing and care these can be addressed. However, some problems such as engine problems, ignition problems, and traction control issues need timely solutions. If these problems are not taken care of then these can also lead to a complete breakdown of the vehicle. It is wise to get in touch with a professional or get it seen by an authorized service center. Yes, go-karts can be made street legal in Texas. They are considered to be utility vehicles in the state. There are some requirements that are requested to meet while driving go-kart on the road. For vehicles with low speed, the state of Texas acquired the combined definition and requirements. A valid driver's license is all you need. You will have to check your local state and municipality guidelines. The first batch of speed UTV cars was delivered to customers the weekend of February 17th to 19th, 2023 via a special launch party at the Speed UTV Lake Havasu facility. The engine of a Speed UTV is a two-cylinder turbocharged motor. It produces 230 HP at the engine. The engine is a 999 cubic centimeters speed designed four-valve dock, dual cylinder with turbo single throttle body, dual injector cylinder intake at front turbo in the rear. The max speed of a UTV depends on the model and purpose of the UTV. Sport models like the Maverick or RZR are faster than the utility UTVs. The ATV Bill of Sale Texas is a document that contains all the basic information of the vehicle along with the parties involved in the sale and also helps in verifying that the seller has sold the ATV and the owner is not him. For complete detail about this topic go and check our website link given in the description. Thank you that is for the video. Please subscribe to our channel and like the video.